What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I uploaded to YouTube, but um, in this video, I'm gonna go over my uh, full rig on my new Bonafide SS127 Redline. And I'll go over everything that I have, how it's set up, and all that. So, yeah, I'm gonna put on the chesty. Let's get started. Alright guys, here's my kayak Bonafide SS127 in the red line color. Just take a little full view of it. And I'll go over from the bow all the way down to the stern. So starting at the bow, I uh, got the motor guide. XI3, the 36 inch kayak series. On the, uh, the motor guide quick release bracket with the one objective SS127 bow mount. These two are a must if you're trying to install one of these guys or like any, uh, like a Minn Kota motor or something. But that's the bow, that's the motor. I just keep my net on the photo grip there and then inside what I love about the hatch compared to the Titan was I can open it two ways from the front and from the back And inside I carry like a little tub with like all my accessory stuff and my lights, gloves, identifiers, accessories and all that. And I use the uh, Yak Power uh, battery box and I have two Amp Outdoors 18 Amp Lithium Ion batteries in there. And this, uh, plug it into a 5 Yak power terminal, which is connected. Connect my uh, fish finder. I got some moon lights, um, interior lights. Uh, I got a USB plug in the back, and also a light, yak power light mount. Um, yeah, so it's a bell. Um, I installed the. Uh, the deploy kit from kayak fishing supplies this is very handy so you don't have to like reach over this basically pulls on the foot pedal from this thing it's like they'll click down and I just gotta deploy it be easy to the middle there's my switch for the uh, yak power powers everything five terminal uh, for my fish finder, I use a Garmin UHD 93SV. Uh, it is live scope compatible with the optics, but maybe in the future, <laughs> but pricey. So I use the pod. I usually keep like my wallet in there, and it has my transducer cables. comes out pretty easy just take this off put the back there and it just comes right off and there's my transducer right there for the chair I got this the, uh, the tug for the uh, foot pedal for the motor uh, for my seat just a stock bonafide seat it's already comfortable how it is but I got this uh, kayak cushion that everyone's been talking about. Um, so far, I'm loving it. Like, a lot usually with like pads, you sit for a long time and it molds into the shape of your butt basically. But for the kayak cushion, you sit for however much long that you need to, you stand right back up and it goes back to how originally it is. So every time you stand up and sit down, it's like a fresh feeling. 
so that's very comfortable and then I got a the drawer keep all my accessories my pliers, scissors, scents, got some sunglasses, scale, uh, like leader lines and blue retrievers and all that. Stored right underneath. And I keep my tether from my uh, catch board. This slides right under here. I installed a track mount on the pad here because I don't really use it. I could use it for like my GoPro mount or anything that fits. My cooler fit just sits there and this is my idea why uh, crate. I installed eight rod holders and two Milwaukee pack out box. One left side is for my uh, battery for the trolling motor. It's the uh, Amp Outdoors 100 amp with an ion battery. The circuit breaker and not. Still have yet to kill the battery yet. And I've gone out like two days of fishing. Maybe eight hours each. And on the left and right side just keep my tackle boxes. Three, four, five. You could probably put seven of the 3500 if you wanted to fit it completely snug. But I keep my bait bag in here as well. I'm storing it. So, I mean, the boxes are like 60 bucks each. So, right there is 120 plus tax, which is equivalent to the Yak Attack, uh, the black pack, which I thought of getting. But then I looked at the price and I was like, oh, maybe I could do a DIY crate instead with more room. And I have these two PVC pipes to fit my uh, wilderness uh, systems kayak cart. And I just bring it over and it just sits in there when I'm out on the water. Uh, Yak Attack through hole kit for all the wiring that I do for my uh, trolling motor. Basically it's a plug, plug and play just plugs in plugs out i have this attached to my charger as well so that i mean the same same uh, plug so i can just take this box to my house and just charge it how it is uh my paddle i use the the best marine and outdoors carbon fiber i got it off of amazon i use a couple of their brands the stuff from this brand and reasonable price and everything looks good so and this is my Yakata cup holder there's no cup holder in this kayak so I have to get one um, and I use the rail as a paddle holder it helps it the paddle kind of sticks out of the kayak so I'm not using the bungee and a rod holder here just to have one like after after I bring a fish in, I usually just set my rod on this while I'm working, like taking off the hook or whatever. Um, but yeah, again, this is the bona fide SS127 red line. Oh, and I just installed the flex wings the other day. Um, so they got a little windy, so I can't really tell if it made a difference or not, but I feel like it did. Maybe it tracks a little better. Yeah. Um, Stability-wise, I'll, I'll rate this like 9 out of 10. Um, I'm a big guy. I'm like 6'4", like 250. Um, so when I, when I first got the kayak, because I had the Titan 12 previous, um, I looked at it and I was like, wow, so narrow. I, wasn't, I was like feeling a little iffy about the stability on this, but once I took it out and actually stood on it, I was pretty amazed by it. Um, it does rock compared to like the Titans and all, but like 
the, the secondary hole design helps it with the stability so it doesn't it doesn't tip over um, comfortable standing efficient for six plus hours easy cushions nice seating is nice it paddles really well too I got up to like 3.8 I think one time it tracks well it's light since I have to car top um, my kayak so yeah I mean I feel like this is like a perfect match with the XI3 I mean I get about 4.3 full throttle yeah, about 4.3 miles per hour which is plenty but yeah so this is my new uh, up my upgrade all right that's gonna be it for my tour on my bona fide ss127 um yeah make sure you like this video share this video with your friends subscribe to my channel also follow me on instagram at dk underscore fish right there See you guys on the next one.